a magical Mexican melee? No, this has nothing to do with melee. It's all shooting. Uh, this is Power Umi. It's from Manufacturer 43. It's developed on the Unity engine. And you can get it for around 15 of your local particular currency. What is it? Power Umi is a modern shoot 'em up set in a retro futuristic sci fi pre Columbian universe. You take control of the Al Mehdi ship Chukaru and its three unique weapons. Shoot wisely to either do double damage, heal yourself, or charge your super attack. This is Chair QA Edition. This is where we uh, take some games. Sometimes the. Uh, Developers send them to us. Sometimes uh, the Sildad just says, hey, here's a game. Play it. And uh, that's that's what happened this week. We uh, take a look at it. We talk about it. We do a little quality assurance that maybe the uh, developers should have done in the first place. Oh, look at that Mexican anime. It's so good. <laughs> um, we, 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 we rate them uh, on the chairquisition. One chair means that it's garbage. Two chairs means that it's meth. Three chairs means it's pretty good. Four chairs means it's awesome. And we apply these to our categories. Oh, doom makes with the working shiny sounds, controls, and fun. I like this Bruce Payne looking motherfucker. Man, he he, he totally looks like the 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 villain from Highlander Endgame. I, I, I don't know, man. <laughs> so uh, let's <laughs> let's. Yeah, you, you, let's you remember that movie? Let's go ahead and cut through this with yeah, the quickness it. Next, before next it gets old. Right, I want to tell you over here yeah. on the Kumbuntu, 1710, Ryzen 7, 17, well, Ryzen 1700, I guess, uh, yeah, Ryzen 7. Anyway, uh, 980-powered UHD display box business, no issues. Now, early access, you know, we're talking like less than a month ago, this game had some genuine issues with UHD displays. Happy to say, completely gone. Couldn't make it do anything weird and or crazy. Solid for yeah, uh, on Fedora 26, uh, 64 bit with the i7 6700K GTX 980, uh, runs pretty well. No real issues, no compatibility stuff whatsoever. I'll give it a solid four. Yeah, and over here on Ubuntu 1604 with the GTX 1080 and the Ryzen 5 1600, it ran with absolutely no issues. In fact, the moment I turned off VSync, it was hitting like 300 ish FERPs, so four chairs. <laughs> all, right. all right that's four chairs for mix with the working up next is the shiny and the sounds yeah i really i really kind of like the visual style of this especially with like the uh sort of still comic cutscenes. i wish um they would do a little more show and less tell when it comes to some of the exposition but <laughs> what can you expect from a shoot up um all the particle effects look good uh sometimes you can get a little character blind but it's usually not too bad uh, there's usually enough uh, distinction between the various shapes and flashing lights on the screen that uh, you can not get lost. Uh, like Pedro mentioned, VSync is on by default, but once you uh, cut that off, mm -hmm. it uh, at least on the at least in Intel land, it holds a solid 60 for most of the segments, um, with the occasional dips to the mid 50s. So that's pretty good. I also like the music. Um, they did a decent job. Didn't make me want to mute it and put on some I don't know death or something <laughs> like that. <laughs> what about you, Pedro? What'd you think? No, the music was all right. Uh, it wasn't terrible. I didn't feel the need to mute it at all. Uh, the thing about the graphics was Temporal AA. It's a bit less effective than other types of AA, but it's also much easier on the resources. And unlike FX AA, it doesn't make everything look blurry. Uh, so I guess my biggest complaint is really the lack of impact that the weapons have, uh, I can see how devastating they are, but when you unleash the ultimate weapon, it just looks and sounds so miserably inadequate. Ben? <laughs> yeah, man, I didn't have any big issues with it whatsoever. I mean, it looks good for shoot 'em up even a, you know, 2160. Uh, runs pretty respectably at 3840 by 2160. Holds a solid 60 until you get some jungle bits, kind of tanks down to 30. 1080p looks a little blurry after viewing it in that res. Overall, the game looks quite nice. Detailed backdrops almost to a fault. They do get a little bit busy sometimes. No sound for me, only silence, because that's the only way I can enter not my fugue state, but my pew state. <laughs> uh, i say solid three, kind of digging it. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, three chairs across the board for shining the sound. So that's that's what it gets. Three chairs. Yeah. How about the controls, Pedro, Mister Control Stickler? Actually, I am a bit of a control stickler. This game, on the other hand, I really didn't have an issue with it. Uh, I did 
sort of kind of miss the mouse controls. I'm uh, not saying that you had to bind everything to the mouse. Not everyone has a 10 button mouse, but at least letting you move around with the mouse wouldn't have gone amiss. That would have been something I would have very much appreciated. But the controls, as they are, they work. I really had no issues with it. I guess I could throw, give it three chairs, only one short because of the lack of the mouse support. Mm hmm. Sure. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, I mean, there, there, there's a minor nit I have to pick with it, but nothing real, uh, nothing really bad. Everything's responsive. Um, I hit the buttons and the pew pew starts happening. I move the uh, joystick on the guy moves at about the same rate. So nothing to really complain about over now. That said, uh, they did this uh, mapping thing where the different colors of pew are mapped to the color face colors of the face buttons on the Xbox controller, which is a little counterintuitive if you're on the DualShock like myself. Hmm. Right that's on. The, that's, uh, the, that's the wrong side. But yeah, that's it. Steamy detection out of the box. Areola controller, the steam controller, no issues. I like seeing that logically laid out from the get go. This is something you're going to be using the XYZ buttons to match up with different colors and stuff like that. Interesting little mechanic. More about that in the fun. No lag on the input. With the wireless, I uh, don't ever use the wired. I actually use the... I never thought I'd be one to regularly use a wireless controller, but thanks to Frenchie, uh, who attempted to punish me with this controller, I kind of almost halfway don't hate it at this point in my life. So, yes, yeah, all three. No complaints, man. Yeah, uh, I, I, I I gave it a four. The rest of you gave it a three. So that averages up to three chairs for the control segment. And to put a bow on it, Ven, did you have fun playing Pawarumi? I kind of had some fun until I had that moment where I was like, holy, I'm done with the game. You know, 80 minutes at the speed of cocking about, boys and girls. Um, yeah, I can't say that's sixteen ninety nine terribly well spent. You got modes. You got easy. It's kind of boring. It's way too easy. Normal mode. Kind of fun, a little challenging. Then you got hard, which is basically just fuck you hard. Not fun at all. Uh, but you're supposed to keep trying because you want to be on the letter boards. I really wanted a third person view because all, all of this business that you're seeing up in your screen organ, that's all full 3D rendered. And I, I, I wanted something like the old uh, Star Fox, Fox Star, with that third person behind the ship type of view, which you get little hints at, you know, during some of the transitions. Um, let's see. It's... Basically, just a wicked short shooter. Say that nine times fast. Really doesn't bring anything terribly new to the table. I'm not saying it's bad at all. I mean, it's completely well done. They did a great job with the game. But like the rent, that price is way too damn high for something that you can accidentally beat without meaning to. Um, if this goes 90% off, I say give it a look. But I be, if you want to support the developers, which you should, they did a good job, but there, there needs to be some more game here. Yeah, sorry, sorry, Power Ruby. You're, you're just not my game. Uh, I'm I'm terrible at shmups. I cannot multitask with all the various pew pew bits going on and the... And I mean that that's just that's just a limitation to me. I I gave the game fairly high scores in all the other segments because it's all very well technically done. It's just I can't I have a very hard time enjoying shoot 'em up games. It has to be super compelling for me to even consider playing it for more than an hour. And super compelling this necessarily wasn't. I do like a lot of the gameplay choices though. The uh the juggling between powering up your alts, uh healing yourself, and uh doing a fuck ton of damage to clear the screen presents interesting choices and a different sort of strategy you can take depending on where you are in the game or if you're constantly fucking up and getting hit by little purple balls like me. Um, it's definitely pretty looking. Uh, it definitely controls really, really tightly. It's a well done, competent shooter that I just can't enjoy for the sake of I'm genetically predisposed to hating shoot 'em ups. Mm. Uh, if you like, if you do like shoot 'em ups, um, maybe wait for this to go on sale. But other than that, yeah, I'm, I got to give it one chair just because, again, it's not my game. No, no, no fault of the game itself. I, it's personal preference. Honestly, I didn't hate it. Uh, it's not really stupidly hard like most shmups nowadays uh, feel like they have to be. Uh, it's um, even with all the colors and everything else that's happening on screen, and there's a lot happening on screen at any given point. It's uh, 
I never really lost track of my ship. I always knew where I was and where I had to move in order to dodge the little purple bullets. But it didn't really change my opinion when it came when it comes to um shmups. Uh Demon Star still holds a special place in the derelict, unused wastes of my brain. Uh I don't know what it is about Power Rumi if it's the lack of impact to shooting or getting shot, uh, the feel like that of taking a piss and, you know, on wet grass from the ultimate weapon, uh, or apparently the fact that it's pretty short. Uh, I really couldn't be asked to try and get to the end because it just didn't grab me. I, to, I can give it two chairs for the fun because I can recognize that it is a very well done game. It's just not my kind of game. <laughs> It seems to be a recurring theme here. So that's one chair for the fun segment, but it totals out to a two chair game, this Strider. So uh, that was Power Rumi. Uh, do we get any final thoughts before we close this sucker off? Um, not a bad game. Uh, well done. Uh, too expensive. Then I, I don't have a problem making it rain, but not, not for barely an hour of fucking around and like, whoa, shit, I'm out of game. So there's that. Yeah. And it's, it does I mean, that yeah, thing it's well done. with it the... Um... Go ahead, Jordan. <laughs> I was just going to say, it's well done. It just won't change your mind about shmups. That's that's basically it. If you don't like shmups, you won't like this game. If you like shmups, you might like this game. Yeah. The big thing about it for me was it doesn't really have like a level system. It actually goes old school with the shmups, which is you always start from the beginning and you see just how far you can get. And then you put your uh, high score on the board and you try to basically beat yourself. Giggity. Giggity. Uh, <laughs> but it isn't uh, it isn't really it isn't really a game changer, so to speak, when it comes to shmups. It is not bad. But it's not amazing either. Yeah. You, by, by the way, uh, you can go and practice levels that you've unlocked. So you don't have to. So if you actually want to advance, you have to beat the levels in order in the campaign mode. But if mm -hmm. you're just stuck on a part, you can practice it. Anyways, uh, that's Chair Acquisition. Tune in next week when we throw chairs at some other game. 